IP pass-through mode allows your PetWave cellular router to pass through its WAN IP address to the first device it connects to. This can be helpful if you're wanting to incorporate the cellular modem into an existing network. In this case, the PepWave disables its routing features and acts like a simple cellular modem. I'm starting here at the PepWave web admin page. Before I start the configuration though, you'll see that by looking through my Mac's network information, I am receiving the local 192 address from the PepWave. Going back to the PepWave web admin, I'll click on the details button beside my cellular connection. Note that this will also work for Ethernet WAN connections. Scroll down to the WAN connection settings section to find the IP pass-through checkbox. Simply check the box to enable it and then click OK to proceed past the alert that pops up. This is warning us that devices may have trouble connecting once this is enabled. This is mainly for any devices that try to connect after the first device. In other words, the first device is the only one that can automatically obtain the WAN IP address from the PEP wave. If you need to connect another device at the same time, the second device will fail to connect. If a workaround is needed, you will have to manually assign the second device IP address settings that are within the PepWave's default 192.168.50.1 submit. Moving on, click the Save and Apply button at the bottom, and that's all there is to the configuration. At this time, the cellular connection is refreshing, and once it reconnects, I can verify the IP address my Mac is receiving matches the one the router is connected to. And there we have it. For more helpful videos about our products, click the subscribe button.